Hey, are you guys ready to see the new Motel Benton Room, number 22? Come on in. Voila. <laughs> First of all, we got the 25-year-old carpets changed. Yes, you know, dreams do come true. <laughs> I'm so grateful my brother came to do the closet. Look at this. Let Let's me get... see what's going on in her room. Mine's going to be the easiest. One, two, three. Oh my god, look how it comes right out. <gasps> Voila. I mean, it really is a great improvement. Before, it was just a hole in the wall. Welcome to my kitchen, which is right over here. Um, I have my coffee machine, my favorite coffee. Uh, I've got my hot water for my tea at night, all my minerals, and, you know, I need to know the time of day. I don't even know if this is right. I think I need to put batteries in there. What is it? 202? So this is the dining room. I sit on the bed and thank God for this table. It has saved my life because there's nowhere to eat in this room. I mean, look at this. So practical, these little folding tables. I got it at my new favorite store, which is Walmart. So when I'm not eating, the dining room goes away. All right, well, and uh, this is my fridge, which is dirty, I just noticed. Is there any more Windex over there? Well, there's not much in here. I don't even have my fosé. And uh, the big screen TV. So it's a movie cinema too. I've got my wig stored under here. And what else do I got under here? Just extra boxes. Now I can actually store stuff. And I feel really comfortable now in my new crib. Oh, it's you, come on in. Don't let the flies in, so try to pick up your speed, thank you. Okay, welcome to my humble abode. I mean, anyone who comes to stay here for two, three nights or even a couple of weeks, it's a big room. And I have my rooster. I had to clean out my uh, fruit basket. That was getting a little sketchy. Fridge is working now. Got unplugged a couple times, so I had to replenish my stash. Coffee, K-cups, and all my you know, sundries. I have plasticware, uh, vegan mayonnaise, Quaker oats, which I actually could have made the other day, yeah, sure. I don't like to use paper towels, they're very expensive, so I try to stock up on the napkins they give us. So I keep those, and I, I kind of, I use them more than once, for, so if I have to clean, I can just wet it and do some cleaning. And I think this is fantastic space right here. I mean, a couple of shoe boxes and you're organized. You know, you've got your lingerie and then the gym clothes, socks, t-shirts, and a kick-ass television from Akash, you know, Akash's days at college. And then this is a walk-in closet, literally, for me. You can see I can walk in. I think that qualifies. So if you want, this whole section here could be your storage. You could come in here and you could have, like, boxes. You could have your files with your, you know, dental records, medical records, your school diploma. I don't care. You can put whatever you want in there. So I've got this to wear for the Follies if I need it. You know, I think it's not about me, it's about the talent, so I don't want to be too too over the top. This is one of my favorites that I wear for my comedy, my mother's underwear that she gave me that holds my belly in. It's just the greatest and I can never find it again. It's like holds it all in. I will say I really love this calico uh, comforter kind of vibe. You have additional storage under the bed. I mean, how great is that? Let me just get this piece of lettuce. I don't want to attract any flies. Okay, so I'm very happy to share my experience here so you know what to expect and what to not expect at Motel Benton.